Here's how you can top up your load wallet. After logging in, click the three horizontal lines at the top left corner to open the menu. Then tap on Top Up Load Wallet. Please take note of this important detail. This indicates that you will receive a 0.5% rebate on any amount you top up in your load wallet. For example, if you top up 1,000 pesos, you will receive an additional 5 pesos. Also, please note that Load Wallet is your online balance that will be used to process load transactions for networks like Globe, Smart, TM, and others. As shown here, you can replenish your Load Wallet via bank transfer using any of these three banks. For now, we'll be transferring the money to Union Bank using Gcash. You may use any banking apps that you have for the bank transfer. The process should be the same across all banking apps. Just make sure you provide the correct details during the transfer. You can take a screenshot for reference. Also, a recurring mistake that the team noticed is entering the account number that doesn't match the selected bank. For example, you might want to transfer to Union Bank but mistakenly entered the account number of PNB. Even if the transfer goes through on your side, this mistake prevents it from reflecting in our system so the funds won't reach our account. As a result, your top up will be denied. You'll need to contact your bank to resolve this issue. We highly recommend double checking the account name and number before proceeding with the transfer and submitting your request. Now, let's continue with the tutorial. Tap on your preferred bank. In this case, I will select Union Bank. Here, you'll see the necessary bank details for the transfer. Open your Gcash app, tap Bank Transfer. Select a bank and then enter an amount of at least 1,000 pesos. The minimum amount per transaction is 1,000 pesos. Enter a unique amount to help the replenishment team easily trace your request. Then, tap this icon to automatically copy the account name and paste it in the box. Next, tap this icon to copy the account number and paste it in the box. Enter your active email address to receive a copy of the receipt. We highly recommend that you copy-paste the details to avoid mistakes. After double-checking, tap Send Money, then take your time in doing the final review, and then tap on the Pay button. Enter the OTP you receive or simply copy and paste it, then click Submit. This will serve as your receipt. Please take a screenshot as you'll need to submit it as proof of transaction. When taking a screenshot of the receipt, it is mandatory that you include these details, bank, account number, account name, transfer amount, and reference number. You can also scroll down and directly download a copy of the receipt to ensure all necessary details are included. After securing your receipt, return to the portal and submit the request. Under the Upload Receipt section, enter the amount. This should match with the amount transferred. Next, click Choose File, then Locate and select the receipt to upload it, and then click Submit. As shown here, the replenishment request was successfully submitted. You can also check the status of your request under Logs section. You'll see the amount, date, and status. If you receive this text, your replenishment request has been approved and the funds are now in your load wallet. You can refresh this page to update the logs. Here, you'll see all necessary information about your load wallet replenishment. And that's how you can top up your load wallet. Please make sure that you have sufficient funds at all times to provide uninterrupted service to your customers. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. If you have any questions or need further assistance, leave a comment below. See you in the next video.